Alright, we need to determine the height of this bracket. I just want about four inches clearance from the bottom of the gantry. And I want to make this gantry 18 inches. So I'm just going to take this block right here, which is four inches, and go up to 18. Put my mark right there. And then do the same on this other side. All right. Gonna take them back off, gonna cut them off. Okay, I've got the two brackets mounted. There's, they roll real well, they're solid, there's no torquing, no tweaking in them, and I'm pretty happy with the, the results. I cut them at 18 inches, well actually 22 inches off the uh, top here of the torsion box. Now what I need to do is, even though these are glue up with plywood, there's a little bit of tweak they were, the plywood was a tiny bit warped, so I need to square these things up between each other. So I'm gonna build a box that's gonna go inside here. It's gonna be a, a four-sided box, front and back, top and a bottom. I'm gonna leave the back off because I wanna get inside of the box and I wanna bolt this thing all together so it sucks it up and makes it nice and square and really rigid. So I already took my measurement from the inside of the bracket to the inside is about 1,409 millimeters, which equates out to be about 55, well, 55 and a half inches. So I'm gonna go with millimeters. You use whatever you wanna use. Okay, I still did a bunch more pocket screw holes, but I saved you from watching the whole thing. And I'm kind of a fan of pocket screws, especially when you're not gonna see the joint. Uh, to me, pocket screws just hold it in place while the glue sets. So it's really about a good glue up. So I'm gonna build this box. This like so. This like so. Another one down on the end. This piece here We'll screw in like that because the back will go on after the fact because I still want to get in here while it's in the gantry so I can bolt it, tighten it up, and um, any adjustments I need to make and I want to keep that off. And we're going to be mounting other stuff from the front as well so I don't want to put this on until it's already up. Mistake, a little too long, got to trim off, a little off each end or one end on both pieces, then I'll set those in. Back's gonna fit on like this. This here is the width of our gantry. This here is 18 inches, four inches up off top of the torsion box. So I'm going to leave this off. I'll put threaded inserts in here later and we'll bolt this all together. There it is. It's up on four and a half. I keep saying four, but I keep telling fibs those are four and a half inch blocks. And it was a little difficult to put it on there because it was a little tight. I'd rather have it tight and have to force it just a tiny bit rather than have it loose and have it pull it all out of whack, but it wasn't real bad at all. So I got it in there. I've got this template on the end so that I can put eight quarter inch bolts. I have some threaded inserts right up here and I'm gonna put those on the inside here on both sides so that I can get it all flushed up. Okay, the box is in, and it rolls real well. If you still have a problem with yours not rolling, and it's a little tight, you could 
loosen up this one angle iron on this side and just push this down a little bit at a time. The rail will find where it needs to be and you could just tighten it up and just work it all the way down. If you're having a problem with yours, I'm not having a problem with this one. My concern is now that as the router is working back and forth and it gets on to the one end and it only is driven on one side by one rack and pinion or one ball screw, this thing is gonna rack and tweak a little bit. So we're gonna drive it on both sides. So that should alleviate that problem and it sh it'll roll really well because you can sync those motors perfect. I was gonna build the Y rails for the Y rail bracket, but the gantry is getting too big. So I wanna work on the rack and pinion instead so that I don't have any problems handling this and it doesn't get out of hand and I can take it off without much problem by myself. So with that, we'll go ahead and we'll start moving on to the next video and I'll start working on the rack and pinion.